And in this video, we're going to do another binomial question. It's a nine mark question. Part A is expanding something binomially up to x cubed, giving each coefficient as simply as possible in terms of A. Then it tells us something about the x squared coefficient. Uh, it tells us it's three and then work out two possible values of A. And lastly, given that A is less than or equal to zero, show that the coefficient of the x cubed term is 14 over nine. Okay, so quite a complicated, more involved question here. So let's have a go at this. Okay, part A. The binomial theorem says, always write down the binomial theorem, one plus x to the power of n is one plus nx plus n, n minus one over two times one, x squared plus n n minus 1 n subtract 2 over 3 times 2 times 1 x cubed plus dot 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 for the modulus of x less than 1. That's the binomial theorem. Here we're expanding 1 plus ax to the power of negative 3. Okay, a is some number in front of x. So let's expand this. It's 1 plus negative 3 ax plus negative 3, negative 4 over 2 ax all squared plus negative 3, negative 4, negative 5 over 3 times 2 times 1 which is 6 ax all cubed plus dot 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 for the modulus of ax less than 1. Okay, that's fine. Let's tidy this up a little bit. This is 1 subtract 3 ax. Here we're going to have uh, 12 over 2, which is 6, so we're going to have 6a squared x squared, so plus 6a squared x squared. Here, we're going to have negative 3 times negative 4 times negative 5 divided by 6, um, so we're going to have uh, subtract 10a cubed x cubed as follows, plus dot 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 dot, for the modulus of ax less than 1. So we have simplified the coefficients in terms of a there, and this is what we've, we have. 1 plus ax to the power of negative 3 is equal to the following. Okay, let's take this with us to the next page. So part b says that given that the coefficient of x squared uh, in the expansion of this is equal to 3, find the two possible values of a. Right, so... This is quite an involved question here, this for four marks. Obviously, part A, we expanded this out here, but we have nothing about 6 subtract x. So the first thing we should do is we should work out what 6 subtract x multiplied by 1 plus ax to the negative 3 is. So um, that's going to be 6 subtract x, and then we're going to multiply it by 1 subtract 3 ax, plus 6a squared x squared, subtract 10a cubed x cubed, replacing this by the binomial expansion in part a. Now, we've got to consider the x squared term, and we're told that it's equal to 3. Now, how do we get an x squared term here? Well, we get an x squared term by multiplying 6 by uh, this here, and we get another x squared term by multiplying negative x, by negative 3ax. They're the only ways of getting an x squared term. So the x squared term, so we could write x squared term, well it would be 6 multiplied by 6a squared x squared, and then it would be plus negative x multiplied by negative 3ax. Okay, so it would be 36a squared x squared, uh, subtract, uh, or plus even, uh, 3ax squared. Okay, and combining these, how many x squares have we got? Well, how many x squares factorise out the x squares? We've got 36a squared plus 3a of them, just factorising out an x squared out the front there. Now, we know the coefficient of x squared is 3. It tells us in the question, looking back up here, it's 3. So, we know, therefore, that 36a squared plus 3a must equal 3. Dividing everything by 3, we can say that 12a squared plus uh, a must equal 1. Subtracting 1 off both sides, 12a squared plus a subtract 1 must be equal to 0. Okay, And then we've got a quadratic which we can solve. We try and factorise that. 
one of the brackets should be uh, probably a 4a and a 3a. We want a, a negative one here, so what about a plus one there and a negative one there? That would seem to work. So therefore, a on the one hand must be a quarter, or a on the other hand must be negative a third. Now the last part, it says given also that a is less than zero, so which a are we going to take? We're going to take a is negative a third. So this here tells us, uh, therefore, that a is equal to negative a third, and we ignore the other answer, which is a equals a quarter, because we want the a less than zero one. Show that the coefficient of x cubed in this expansion is the following. Well, let's look back. Let's take, uh, let's rewrite this line uh, back here. Okay. Now, how are we going to get an x cubed term? Let's think about the x cubed term. How are we going to get an x cubed? Well, what, how, what we're going to do is 6 multiplied by this is certainly going to give us an x cubed. And negative x multiplied by this is going to give us an x cubed as well. Okay, so uh, let's multiply that out. So 6 times that would be negative 60 a cubed x cubed. And this times this would be negative 6a squared x cubed. Okay, and again, factorizing out the x cubed here, x cubed, we'd have negative 60a cubed minus 6a squared. Now we know a is negative a third. Okay, so therefore the coefficient of x cubed is equal to negative 60a cubed minus 6a squared which is negative 60, negative a third cubed, minus 6, negative a third squared. So this is just a case of typing in our calculator here. So we type that in our calculator. And we get ourselves that the coefficient of x cubed is therefore 14 over 9. And we look up to the question here, and we're asked to show it's 14 over 9, and we've done so. And so we are done there. 